Welcome to the channel if you're just stumbling across this video today. My name is Chloe. I do a lot of styling videos on here, hauls, lifestyle vlogs, beauty, hair tutorials, you name it. But as you can see from the title of this video, it's going to be my spring capsule wardrobe of 2022. Always have to think about it. I feel like I'm always like a year behind with everything that's been going on. And if you hear in my voice, it's a little bit like husky today. I have been under the weather for the past week. So I've pulled myself together today to film this video because I've had loads of new pieces in for spring. The weather here in the UK has finally brightened up and it's just really inspired me to film this video and share with you all the newness that I've got in my wardrobe and also the pieces that, as I said in this video, are capsule in my wardrobe for the season. The pieces that I bring out every year and are just really good core pieces that can mix and match with loads of different items in my wardrobe and create loads of different outfits out of. And I feel like this is just a better and sustainable approach towards your wardrobe as well. Buying key pieces and quality pieces rather than quantity and having loads of stuff that you just don't know how to style. So hopefully this will give you some inspo on what to wear right now and show you how you can create different outfits out of one piece as well. So like I said, some of these pieces are new. Some of these pieces I've had in my wardrobe for a while, but they are always just the bread and butter when it comes to the spring season. So some of the pieces, like I said, are new and they are from Naked. You guys know how much I love Naked. I have been talking about them on here now for over a year because I just love their clothes. One, they are sustainable. Two, they're good quality. And three, they're affordable. So I have a discount code for you. I will leave it on the screen and also down below so you can use it. It is for a limited time only and they've had a lot of newness on the site recently. Hence why I've been picking up some new bits to share with you. So I'm gonna break it down by each category of pieces that you need in your wardrobe and then show you how you can style them as well. So we're gonna get straight into the video. Okay, first up is a white shirt. Now, this is actually new from Naked, and it's a little bit of a twist on a white shirt. It comes here at the cuffs. It's got the tie details and the big cuff details here as well, which I like. So it just adds a little bit of a twist onto a usual white shirt, and that's why I love it. And this is really great for styling if you wanna layer something over the top and have this popping out. I recently styled it with my trench and did just that. So I, I tied this, sorry, over the trench sleeves, and it just made it look a little bit more luxe and something a little different. So this is a really nice key white shirt that I've been styling up so many different ways. You might have seen it over on my Instagram. And I just feel like you cannot go wrong with a white shirt. You can wear it with everything. It is such a core staple to have, even throughout all the seasons, not just spring. But I do feel like there's just something nice and crisp and fresh about a white one. So I picked up this one from Naked with a tie detail. And I also just have a plain one. So I feel like you can't go wrong with just having a simple white shirt and this one also has the pocket detail here so as you can see it's still got the label on because this is fresh I've ironed it and it's ready to go because I have not left the house in over a week so I'm very excited to style these pieces up and get in the sunshine so this one like I said has a tie detail and then this one is just more of a simple basic shirt that I know I'll get and I'll keep wearing and I feel like with white shirts obviously I do have them in my wardrobe year on year but it's always great to kind of invest in a good one so then you know next year you can bring it out of your wardrobe and the quality won't decrease. I also feel like with a basic white shirt like this it's also really nice to just kind of wear it open. I love wearing it with like a tank top underneath, some tailored trousers and just having this open over the top just really gives that effortless minimal style which I love. So there are a few different ways you can style a shirt but obviously it's quite straight forward in what it does and on the subject of shirts I feel like I also love a good blue striped shirt in my wardrobe I feel like I did mention this in my last year's spring capsule wardrobe and then I recently picked this one up from M&S I feel like they do really good basic pieces like this especially the shirts 
So I picked this up. I'm pretty sure this is in a size 10. And I always go up a size in my shirts just because I like them to be a little bit more oversized. But I just like adding a little touch of blue into my wardrobe and especially it kind of counterbalances if you're wearing denim as well. You can even wear it together. But I feel like this also just looks really nice with some white tailored trousers. So like I said, M&S do have some really good shirts. I will link this down below and a few other alternatives as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna keep on the top options. And another core piece, which is completely just a really good at basic to have in your wardrobe, are these little ribbed tanks. Now, I recently picked this one up from Naked. I love the color of it. And I have a few last year from Naked. I have a white one, a black one, a khaki one. They do them in a few different colors. So pieces like this are always great to grab now because I feel like they do go out of stock. Even though they're such a basic, I wear it so much with so many different outfits. Like I said, this looks great with just some tailored trousers, a nice little belt, and even like a white shirt laid over the top. I mean, there's so many different ways you can wear this. Even this looks really nice with like a satin skirt and a cardigan. I just think they're really good core basics. And like I said, this one's actually from the new collection with Romy. So I love this color. Like I said, I have them a few different colors. So I just feel like these are definitely a core piece to get your hands on. And another top option is a t-shirt. And I feel like you're probably thinking these are obviously such obvious pieces to have in your wardrobe but it's like I said sometimes just stripping it back and having those core basics and core staples is what builds up your wardrobe to create loads of different outfits out of now this one has a little bit of a touch it is from naked but it actually has the shoulder pads here in the sleeves and I also have this in white from last year and I love the boxy feel of it I feel like it just really balances out your body say if you're just wearing it with a pair of straight leg jeans as well which I have also picked up from naked I've been honestly going a little bit wild on there and just getting some really good core pieces so I love the color of this it just adds a little bit of something different to a white one or a black one just that nice kind of beige color and I feel like this actually looks really nice with black it just looks so chic and minimal so I love a good t-shirt and then a little bit of a twist with the shoulder pad works really well I went again with a size up for my usual size with this I will leave it down below in the reference and then styled with that t-shirt as you saw I picked up some recent jeans now if you know me you know I am not a jean person at all so they have to be good and they have to fit well otherwise I just won't wear them they really need to be comfortable so I picked up the pair you saw and also these which are the wide leg denim and I loved the color of these this kind of lighter denim going into the spring and summer is so nice and you can just wear it with everything especially with just like a white t-shirt like this it just looks so chic so I feel like something like this is just a no-brainer to have in your wardrobe a good pair of fitting jeans now I actually went true to size with these these are a size EU 34 however I wish I kind of went up a size just in case I do bloat or something but they do actually fit me perfect I just some Sometimes like a little bit of give and room in my jeans around the waist but apart from that they fit great on the bum the length is obviously a little bit long I do need to get them tailored which is so common for me being on the petite side I feel like my tailors now just know as soon as I walk in they know all my measurements and the fact I have to get everything done but I love these I like the color of them and again they are sustainable denim so I also got a pair of darker denim jeans and again these are the wide leg jeans I just feel like this kind of fit of jean really works for me being on the petite side it just elongates my legs especially if I wear it with like a little heel like a mule or a nice sandal going into this spring month so this is the exact same style it's just in the darker I think this is called like the yeah the mid blue and this is the full length jean so again I do need to get them tailored but apart from that they fit great around the waist and the bar and I do like this kind of like deeper denim especially matched with just white it looks really nice now although we are coming into the warmer months of spring and summer I still do like to have kind of like those thinner knits in my wardrobe and I love this sweetheart neckline top I actually had a few of these last year and I really got my wear out of them so I saw this on naked and it's actually cropped which I feel like works perfectly with tailored trousers, with like the jeans that I showed you. I just feel like, again, this is a really good core piece that you can style it with a few different ways. And also layer on top of this. And I feel like this top actually goes really nice into the evening as well, not even just casual. So I have a lovely knit skirt from Pretty Lavish that I know I'm gonna be styling with this. And I feel like just the creams together look really luxe. So this nice sweetheart neckline, I just feel as like really flattering. And I feel like it's actually quite flattering on all body shapes. 
So I went true to size with this. I went extra small. Again, this is from Naked and I love the fact that it's cropped. So you can get the discount on it and I feel like they do have it in a few different colours as well. And then on the subject of skirts, like I said and showed you with this skirt, this is the one that I have from Pretty Lavish. And again, it is a knit style and it has this beautiful split here at the bottom. I've worn this with like a jumper for a date night. I've worn this casual with trainers and just a t-shirt. I just feel like a nice midi skirt like this is so versatile. And especially with it being a knit, if it is a bit more of a chillier day, something like this is great to work out. And it's super flattering. And the key piece for this for me is it's so comfortable, especially with the elasticated waist. So I just love a good midi skirt coming into these months. I feel like it looks really nice when you can see your ankles and even just pair it down with a good pair of trainers as well. When it comes to skirts, I always feel like a satin midi skirt is so cool for in your wardrobe as well. To be honest, I do wear this throughout all of the months, but I just think in spring, this looks so nice i actually wore this last year in paris with just like a t-shirt leather jacket it wasn't this exact skirt but it was similar and i have worn this to death i feel like you can kind of see it's going a little bit bobbly i need to get the debobbler on it but i just think a good satin skirt like this you can't go wrong i have actually recently picked up a new one from h&m which i will show you so this is the recent satin skirt that I picked up from H&M. This is so beautiful. I walked in the store and it just caught my eye. It's kind of in this cream gold like champagne color and it has this wraparound detail. And I just thought this could be such a good piece to dress up and dress down, even with just like a simple tank and a cardigan or like a bodysuit and then dressed up in the evening with a nice pair of heels. I feel like this is such a beautiful skirt and I also saw it with a satin top in H&M them which I will try on with it and I just feel like they worked really pretty together so I might actually be packing this for my upcoming trip to Paris I feel like it's one of those outfits you can take from day to night and put like a nice blazer over the top so for me a satin midi skirt is definitely a key piece in your spring wardrobe again it's quite flattering on all body shapes I actually went true to size with this one it's brand new in from H&M I went with a size 8 so I will link it down below for you guys Okay, now I feel like this item is probably the second most worn item in my wardrobe and it is a pair of good tailored trousers. Especially for me being on the petite side, I always find it hard to find a pair that actually fits. Now these are really great kind of like tapered style ones and I have these in a few different colours. I have them in the black, I'm pretty sure I've got them in the khaki as well and this cream pair I wear all the time. Again, kind of taking note to the fact that I'm wearing a lot of like whites, creams, beiges. You guys know I love my neutrals but I just think it's such a good colour palette that you can style in a few different ways. It's really nice kind of colour palette to style with a lot of pieces in your wardrobe and mix and match it. And I just feel like a good pair of tailored trousers, you can't go wrong. They just look so chic, so classic and really elevated. So I have these from H&M. Now they bring them in every year. So make sure you get them at the beginning of the season because I feel like they do sell out. Like I said, I have them in a few different colours but I specifically love these cream ones. I also have a few different tailored trousers that are kind of like wide leg as well as tapered. You'll have seen these all over my Instagram. I just wear them all the time. Like I said, I think tailored trousers have to be the second most worn item in my wardrobe i just feel like they're such a must so i always go true to size with them especially these ones from h&m i will link them down below because they're such good quality these have lasted me i think now two years so like i said i've been picking up some new pieces from naked and i feel like this is very much a trend at the minute but this video obviously isn't around trend led pieces this is around a capsule wardrobe and i feel like this has kind of been on now for years and years and years and a forever kind of favorite in my wardrobe when it comes this time of year and it's a good two-piece suit now this one is actually a new one i've got from naked as you can see the tags are still on it because i have not left the house in the past week so i'm very excited to take this to paris with me and this is a lovely little two-piece suit with a mini skirt and a cropped blazer and i just feel like this together looks so nice and i like the fact that you can wear these in different ways as well obviously you can wear the skirt on its own you can wear the blazer on its own they're just good core cool pieces again and very versatile so i feel like together they look really nice and also separate they look great which kind of leads me on to the category which is the most worn item in my wardrobe which is blazers so I love the fact that this one is cropped, but I've also been picking up some other ones that are obviously the typical full length blazer, such as this one. And I love this blazer so much. It's like this creamy, buttery color. 
and it's got these lovely tortoiseshell details as well. I just think this paired with the matching tailored trousers, and again, like I said, these are the two most worn pieces, tailored trousers and a blazer, put them together and it makes a suit and you just can't go wrong. And again, you can obviously style them in different ways separately. So these trousers are actually wide leg compared to the ones that I showed before, which are a bit more tapered. And then I went oversized with the blazer. This is an EU36. Both are from Naked, so you can use my discount code on them. And I just think this looks so minimal, so effortless, but yet so put together. And I think something like this as well, even for occasions, looks so nice. Dressed up with a heel, put some jewellery with it, a nice little top. And you just can't go wrong. And again, as I wear blazers so much, I also picked up a new one from Naked. This is more kind of a lighter cream. I'm going to go with, it's got kind of like a tinge of grey to it as well but I loved this one it's from the Claire Rose collection and it's got this little button detail here which I felt like just had a little different something and also the tortoiseshell button details again so as before I do go oversized in it this is an EU 36 but the reason I picked up two blazers is because I know I wear them all the time and again they are just those core staples in your wardrobe and lastly for clothing items a big core staple is of course a trench coat so this is a new one that i picked up from naked and this is very much a lighter trench coat than the other ones that i have in my wardrobe again it's kind of like this buttery cream color just going for the more of that lighter neutral palette just because i know this will be able to easily layer over a lot of my outfits so this is actually called the fluid oversized trench coat on the website and i feel like they kind of nailed it with the name of it it just has that fluid feel to it it's very lightweight very easy just to whack on over your outfits it's not one of those that's going to necessarily keep you very warm but it is just a nice light layer to have and i like the fact that this is a longer style trench coat it also comes with the tie so you can tie it in the waist which also looks quite nice and accentuates obviously bringing it in but as for my core trenches that I have in my wardrobe, I actually recently got this, I say recently, it was actually like the back end of last year, from Vista Village, I invested in the Burberry trench, which I feel like is the classic trench coat. I feel like everyone will know this trench, it's just so beautiful, it's just the pure classic style. And then it has the Burberry pattern going on underneath. But I honestly just feel like a trench coat, you can't go wrong. It's just one of those key pieces for spring when you don't want to wear any heavy layers anymore. But you just want something simple, very smart, and also just to quickly layer over the top. So I loved the longer style with the Burberry trench, but I actually recently got this one. And when I say recently, this is probably my last purchase that I've got. And it's this Arctic crop trench. You would have seen this over on my Instagram. I've been wearing it to death, especially my latest vlogs as well. It's getting kind of embarrassing how much I'm wearing this. But it goes to show that sometimes just a staple is one of those pieces that you always reach to. So I know that I'm getting my bang for buck is a really good quality crop trench. I actually saw this online last year and it sold out instantly. And I was so good that I didn't get my hands on it. So when it come back online this year, I was like, get that in my basket. So if you are looking at getting it, I do advise getting it quickly. They also have it in a black color as well. So I just love the crop style, especially being on the petite side. I feel like it really suits my figure. I've also been playing around with it i've been putting like belts around the middle been wearing it open i've been wearing this shirt through it and having like the sleeve pop through and i also love this one because it kind of goes tighter here at the sleeve so it gives that kind of like flared out feel i just think this is such a lovely trench and definitely a must in your wardrobe i will link it down below and hopefully it will still be in stock when you watch this video now moving on to shoes i've actually had these slingback mules for a good few years now and I feel like these are definitely a dupe of the Chanel's. I have been eyeing up the Chanel ones but these have been a great basic in my wardrobe up until and these are the June ones. So they're just a nice little heel, it's got the sling back detail and again the mix of the black and the cream means I can match it with so many outfits especially with a nice tailored trouser, a good pair of flared jeans. I feel like a good little sling back mule you can't go wrong with in the spring and obviously it means your feet aren't going to sweat with the fact it has got the open back as well another shoe i always go for in the spring is a good pair of loafers now i feel like i do wear these a lot kind of going into the winter months but when we are now starting to get our legs out with our mini skirts our midi skirts 
dresses. I feel like loafers look really cute with just some little socks. Again, I styled this with a little mini skirt and blazer in Paris last year with some socks. And I feel like it just worked really well. These are really comfortable. These are the Vagabond ones. I was on the hunt for the Chanel ones. I could not hunt them down anywhere. So these have been a great substitute and have lasted me a good few months now. So highly recommend. They've got a nice little kind of block heel here and very comfortable. And lastly, when it comes to shoes, for comfort is key, I have to go with a good pair of trainers. Now these are my new ones from Celine. I did do an unboxing video with some recent pieces I picked up from Celine. Now these are the half tops. They're not low, they're not high. I kind of went for the middle and I've actually been wearing these a lot and I feel like these just kind of make an outfit a little bit more casual, but oh my God, they are so comfortable. Now obviously you don't have to go and kind of splurge on a more expensive trainer like this. You can just go for a really nice classic neutral trainer such as the Veja trainers. Now, I love these so much. I have them in the cream and also in the black. And I feel like with these, they are just such a classic, nice neutral trainer that you can put with every single outfit. And I feel like I can vouch with that because I've worn these so much. And I like the fact that these obviously are the low tops. I feel like these are a little bit more smarter than the other ones. And like I said, these are great for kind of all seasons, but especially in spring, I feel like these neutral ones go really well with all the different looks. And another new in piece in my wardrobe that I've been styling with a lot of these outfits and I feel like is again a nice cool kind of accessory to have is a lovely little belt and I feel like this just brings in your outfits. Now this is the Celine Triumph one. I'm so glad I got this because I've been wearing it to death already. Like I said I've even worn it over the crop trench. You can wear it just obviously through your tailored trouser loops with jeans. Obviously you can wear this with a lot of different outfits and I feel like this just sometimes elevates the outfit and obviously with the gold details you can match it with your gold jewellery and just tie in your look so always sometimes giving a nod to accessories is a great shout when it comes to having those cool pieces in your wardrobe as well. Okay guys, so that is it. I feel like I've covered the key pieces needed in your spring capsule wardrobe. Hopefully this gives you some great insight and info on what to wear at the minute. As always, I will leave all the items linked down below. I'll leave the naked discount code on the screen again and also down below so you don't miss it. And like I said, it is for a limited amount of time, so make sure you do use it. And a lot of these pieces, even if they are old, I'll try and find alternatives for you and leave the size reference down below as well. But as you can hear, my voice is going. I have been talking for a good amount of time now. So I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do give it a like. Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell for all the upcoming videos, as you don't wanna miss my Paris vlog when I go next week. So I will see you guys in the next one.